ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Super Marsh Brothers Super Channel. I'm your host, Jason Marsh, today. And uh, today I wanted to, um, you know, play a little bit of uh, the first Diablo with the Hellfire expansion, of course. Because with the new Diablo coming out, I thought it'd be kind of fun to see if we can get through this game before it happens. So I'm just going to delete this character really quick. I do want to be the monk, though. Um, let's go ahead and name him Jackie Chan. We're just going to do normal, just for pleasure purposes, just because, you know, I don't want it to take too long to accomplish what I need to. So we got Deckard Kane. Oh, my friend. Oh, a such a sad listen. day. In uh, number three, as we all know. May he rest in peace. But, uh, yeah. Oh, who is this? Wounded Please Townsman. listen to me. The Archbishop Lazarus. He led us down here to find the lost prince. The bastard led us into a trap. Now everyone is dead. Killed by a demon he called the Butcher. Avenge us. Find this Butcher and slay him. So that our souls may finally rest. As you wish. All right, let's get going. So the first thing I'm going to do is save. The so I don't have to go through. The of this place has been fouled. And I'll make sure that uh, when I'm using my map, I don't uh, leave it on the whole time. I tend to do that from time to time where I'll click the map, see where I'm going, and then I'll accidentally leave it on. But, um... So, uh... Uh... If you have a moment while you're watching the video, uh, comment below and um, tell me what your favorite Diablo was of the three um, Diablos. Well, because, well, there, let's face it, there is only three out right now. Um, and tell me which one was your favorite and why. Uh, me personally, I really enjoyed number two. Um, obviously because it was more open than, say, the first one. Um... And there was a little more, I don't know, there, it's, there just seemed like a lot to do and a lot you could get, a lot you could find. I mean, and then, you know, one of my favorite things about number two was when you got the blacksmith's hammer. Um, I believe that was in actually the first area. And, uh, you know, yeah, you could use it on a weapon that you got from the first area, but what I did was I would hold on to it until I got to maybe the maybe second to last place uh, that you go, like, I don't know, is it at whatever act it is, because I can't remember how many acts are in number two. And, uh, and then I would get a good weapon and then go back and use it on that weapon and man I would get some of the most powerful weapons uh, it was it was just amazing but number two there was just so much to it it was so fun and you know I really hope that they decide to do a remaster not necessarily a remake but a remaster um, I know there have been rumors saying that they had planned on it and then there have been things where they have said, no, they're not going to because uh, for whatever reason it was. Um, I hope that that's not set in stone that they're not doing it because, uh, look, let's face it. When it comes to the money, they would definitely make a lot from it because I'm sure I'm not alone in saying that Diablo 2 is probably the best one uh, of the three. Um, but who knows? Maybe, uh, number four will, uh, top that. I mean, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Speaking of, uh, classic games, so, really brief, I got this, uh, I got this game off of, uh, it's, it's GOG.com, and, um, basically, and, and I'll try to leave the, uh, link down below um, in the description but basically I never heard about it I was actually just trying to find um, a gaming site that sold uh, older PC games because well 
growing up, I played, you know, this one. I played the Command and Conquers, and I played, uh, you know, when Westwood was involved. And, uh, you know, Daggerfall, Battlespire, Arena, and um, what else did we play? Uh, Might and Magics, like Might and Magic 3. Uh, not Heroes of Might and Magic, just Might and Magic. And, uh, well, Might and Magic 3 actually was on the Super Nintendo, so we played that one. We played Might and Magic 6. That's what it was. Um, and those those were fun games, like, uh, and Lands of Lore. Uh, so many. But uh, speaking of Command and Conquer, though, if that's, um... If that's a game you've played and are interested in, if you're into those kind of uh, strategy type games, um, GOG.com is actually going to be releasing Command and Conquer, and I believe like with the expansion, uh, like the Covert Operations, I think it is, and uh, also Red Alert, uh, the first Red Alert with the expansion as well. Um, that one is is not released on that website yet at least it isn't at during this time of making this video um, but uh, it is for pre-order right now um, who knows by the time that you watch the video or it could be out you know you'd have to check if that's something you're interested in I don't think you'll pay any more than like $14.99 for it um, if you're interested in getting this game with, of course, the expansion. Um, I got it when it was on sale, because uh, they'll, of course, have sales sometimes uh, for $7.99, which, I mean, I saw that and I thought, there's no way I can pass up this opportunity to, to play Diablo again. So, um, if you go on there, if it's not on sale, you could probably get it for... Uh, between nine ninety nine and fourteen ninety nine, I can't say. You'd have to go look, but um, definitely worth the money. And um, you know, browse the website; they got a lot of cool games. Uh, I don't know if you guys ever played like the Pharaoh games uh, or Zeus, where you know you have to kind of—it's almost like a sim kind of game, like a Sim City sort of thing. Um, but, you know, Egypt with Pharaoh, and then it's like, you know, Rome and stuff, uh, Greece with uh, uh, Zeus. Um, if you ever played uh, Nintendo back in the day, um, they have a game, they had a game called Shadowgate uh, on Nintendo, which was kind of your choose your own adventure, kind of, you know, so you had that one, you had another game called Deja Vu. Uh, which they were pretty fun games. I I always got frustrated with them because I just could not figure out how to do some things. Because you know, you if you're not looking hard enough, you're gonna look past everything and whatnot. But uh, on GOG.com, they have Shadowgate, and uh, it's actually almost like a a remake, kind of like what they did with Final Fantasy VII, uh, where it, they didn't just remaster, they remade it. So, I mean, the concept is still the same as far as, like, uh, items you got to find and, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, items and then solving, like, puzzles and riddles. It's pretty much the same, but, I mean, the graphics and everything are just, are just pretty, pretty awesome and it definitely makes the game fun. So, kind of what I'm going to do, uh, so I, I want to try to beat, as I said earlier, I want to I try to beat this game before Diablo 4 comes out. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go level by level, uh, so then that way you don't feel like you're sitting here for hours or have to come back or anything like that. I probably better get out of there so I don't die. Speaking of which, I probably should be safe and save my game. There we go. Um, you know, so hopefully, like, each video I put out doesn't take more than, say, 30 minutes. And, of course, that's going to all depend on how often I die, which, cross my fingers, hopefully not. Because uh, if it's on normal, that would be, I think, a little bit of embarrassing for me if I uh, die on a consistent basis. Then that will just tell me I probably better not play the other modes. 
Um, but uh, and and that's all gonna depend too because. You know, and then making sure I put up my levels, putting on my gear, and different things like that. Now, the one thing I liked about Diablo 3, and this is... I don't... I can't remember if they do it on the PC, because I've played it both on the PC and the PlayStation 4. Um, but the one thing I did like about it is you pretty much just run and then you pick up the gold as you go by. Um, that, <laughs> that's nice. Where this one, you gotta be a bit more like, okay, well, I gotta make sure I find it and, uh, you know, pick it up. So that way I don't miss out on gold because for some reason, if you don't Get I cannot carry you. anymore. Ooh, what the? I'm already overburdened. Oh, well, I guess I should put on this cloak because it's good. And the helmet. And we'll just throw this away. And we'll keep the bow. Actually, I could probably make some good money off these books because I don't plan on using magic. So I'm just going to throw the bow. Ooh, it's a mace. Ooh, needs identification. All right. It's always exciting because, like, if you remember in Diablo 3, um, I don't think it did it in 2, but, you know, when the legendary items drop and then, you know, it just makes that almost, like, ching noise or whatever it is and then that light shooting up into the sky because you get this legendary item. Ugh. It's always so exciting. Unfortunately, this one, uh, you only know it's a good item when you put your cursor over it. And uh, and then you see it in like a yellowish like tint in the writing, and then you're just kind of like, oh my gosh, it's a great item. What is it? And then of course you identify it, and who knows? It probably isn't very good. Um, but hey, still exciting nonetheless. All right, so this floor is done. Um, so what I'm gonna do is take that off the the map, go find the downstairs. Um, so I can get ready to do level two when the time comes. All right, here's level two. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put up my levels and gear. Ooh, good. Scroll of identify. What is it? Ooh, five to strength, but damage three to five, one to eight. But, you know... Plus five to strength. Oh, hold on. Let me put up my level. So I'm going to put probably about four there and then the rest on dexterity because I like being able to hit the guys. Um, now, give me your opinion. I mean, comment down below. I mean, I'm not going to get rid of my staff and I'm not going to get rid of the mace. Um, what do you think would be better to use? The uh, mace, which is a 1.8 with five strength. Now, remember, I'm the monk, so I don't think strength is kind of what I need to use. Or just keep the staff, which is 3.5, or a 3 to 5 strength. So, um, let me know in the comments below, so then that way next time I come on, um, I can decide maybe which weapon to use. Well, folks, it was really fun playing. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me save the game <laughs> so I don't forget. And... Uh, I, I really hope that uh, I'll see you again. And uh, if you liked what you saw, uh, subscribe uh, to the channel, ding the bell, and uh, let's continue playing this game. Let's get it beat before Diablo 4 comes out. And uh, let's have ourselves a good time. Anyways, take care of yourselves and uh, stay super. You know this, all right.